What's going on everybody? It's the Man of the Legend Beast of Brawl 16 here. I just came off a 1.8 million VC pack opening. 1.8 million and this is basically uh, all that I got. Of course something sold but I basically pulled I think four amethysts in total. So the pack odds were lower but you know it was a VC so, so I said why not fuck it do it for the culture. Now what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to go ahead and look at the all-star weekend. Uh, promotion to see what it is you can pull as you see you see those four rubies But we will not be going over them because you don't care about them and plus like I pulled like legit maybe 50 60 of them so um, Yeah, I'm kind of sick of seeing them. So first things first. We're gonna go ahead and look at the first Diamond card of this collection first of all the, the reward is Vince Carter 97 overall And if you guys don't know why he's not pink diamonds because pink diamonds are only 99 Now I made a video about it earlier, but the long story short is pink diamonds are only 99 so that being said we're gonna go ahead and look at this Dwight Howard Diamond Dwight Howard compared to Alonzo morning who also got a boost who's a 97 overall so as you see here 98 standing layup 85 driving layup. You guys know how I feel about driving layup at this point. Don't need to repeat it. 97 post hook. 95 post control. So really, really good. As long as you're not doing a fadeaway, you should be fine. 95 draw foul. That is tremendous. That is tremendous. I do love students who can draw foul, except, you know, Dwight Howard hasn't been the best free throw shooter, so we will see what happens there. 97 shot close. Which is really good for all the post moves that he's probably going to do. But you're probably going to end up dunking with them. So I don't know how useful that's going to be. But um, as long as you're not shooting. You see his shooting stats are pretty terrible. You should be fine. A 67 free throw. That actually isn't the worst in the world. So that's actually really good. Um, box out a 98. Offensive rebound a 97. Defensive rebound a 97. Lateral quickness at 85. Pass perception 88. Block a 96. Shot contest a 94. Defense and consistency at 98, on ball at 89, pick and roll defense IQ at 96, help defense at 98, low post defense at 97, sanding dunk at 98, driving dunk at 97, contact dunk at 90, and speed a 90. As a center, that is, <laughs> that is the fastest center in the game. You are looking at the fastest center in the game. In fact, you put him... If you give him a shoe, I think he's faster than, uh, no, he's not faster than Westbrook. Westbrook, well, the newest Westbrook has a 98 speed, but still, 90 speed for a center? Sheesh. And then you take a look at his badges. Hall of Fame Rim Protector. Um, I don't even think I need to compare the badges to anybody else, but Hall of Fame Rim Protector, Posterizer, Put Back King, Pick and Roller, Post Spin Technician, Drop Stepper, Dream Like Up and Under, Hustle Rebounder, Defensive Stopper, Charge Cart, Lost City Finisher, Chase Down Artist, and Bruiser with Brick Wall. So, really, really good card. Um, I would love to have this card to add it to my collection, but, you know, the price it's going for right now, I'm not trying to spend, you know, all this MT. I'd rather just save it for a different promotion because I know there's going to be better cards, especially when there's going to be a pink diamond shack. That's the card I'm going to be going for. But aside from that, that's a really good card. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this Blake Griffin. So, this Blake Griffin, diamond Blake Griffin. See, take a look here. We're going to go ahead and compare them to, yeah, Larry Johnson. I feel like they have the most similar play style. So, 97 standing layup, 83 driving layup, 92 post fade, 92 post hook, and 92 post control. That's really, really good. I do love uh, post control on my big men because I, I can do the post spin, the drop step, all that stuff relatively easy. Draw foul in 86, and with Blake Griffin's play style, you definitely want that as much draw foul as you can. 97 shot close. 84 contested mid, 92 open shot mid. That's really, really good. And then he has a 70 open shot three. So if he's booty butt naked wide open for God knows what reason, you know, on the pick and pop or something of that sort, he can make it. 75 fruit though, which is good. Ball control, a 76. Um, 92 box out, 92 offensive rebound, 94 defensive rebound. That's really, really good for a Blake Griffin card. Um, Especially because, you know, Blake Griffin's athletic, so he's going to have the vertical and the speed, you know, to, to get in there, to get inside the paint and get the boards. Lateral quickness of 62, which is, eh, it's, it's all right. Just beware of the stretch force. Defensive consistency at 85. Uh, his shot contest is at 72, which is, again, it's, it's decent. Pick and roll defensive IQ at 89, which is good. Now, the real reason you want a Blake Griffin card, and let's just be honest, is because of that dunk. 98 standing dunk, 
98 driving dunk. 98 contact dunk. 98 contact dunk. And you know Blake Griffin has the, the post-rising big man packages. So, And then, of course, the 86 speed helps a lot. This card... Oh, and then the 98 vertical. This card is an athletic freak of fucking nature. Hall of Fame posterizer, Hall of Fame Lob City finisher, pick and popper, put back king, pick and roller, relentless finisher, post spin technician, drop stepper, dream light, one man fast break, brick wall, bruiser, hustle rebounder, break starter, and flashy passer with ankle breaker. This card is an athletic freak of fucking nature. That is the only way you could basically summarize this card. This card is a fucking problem. If you get this card, you will be posterizing people and making them fall. This card just seems like a very entertaining card to have, and that's why I want this card. And I don't think it's doing anything for the uh, High Flyers version, but this card is just, it's a freak of fucking nature. And I would love to have that on my team. So, next on our list, we have Dirk. Nowitzki Amethyst Dirk Nowitzki and you see he has a buy now price so he's going down as we uh, move on so we're gonna go ahead and compare him to but bro, I don't know what to do with Spencer Haywood is like what is intangibles but we'll, we'll go ahead and compare him to Amari Stoudemire I know they have very different play styles but they're basically from the same era so 89 standing layup 72 driving layup for Dirk 98 post fade and then an 88 post hook finally putting some respect on the post hook that Dirk Nowitzki has 97 post control which is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and you know he's a seven footer so you can definitely shoot over the top of those people who try to play small ball with like LeBron and people like that uh 80 draw foul 92 shot close 96 mid-range contested and open off dribble mid range 94 contested shot 3 84 open shot 3 90 this is the ideal stretch for it that i like someone who's tall can shoot over the top and has post control love it love this card so far 88 free throw um rebounding not the best uh 78 and 83 but you know if you have a really good uh center you can get the job done um defense is man it's average at best but you want this dirt cart because he can shoot pick and popper mid-range dead eye hall of fame deep range dead eye limitless range corner specialist catch and shoot pick and roll post spin dream like all on goal so this is the ideal stretch forward this is the premier stretch forward that you want and it's a very very solid card to add to your collection so next up on our list we have what I think is probably going to be the most overrated card in the collection. And not because it's going to be a bad card. The card looks, it looks good. But because of the name, you already know the price is going to be extremely fucking high. So, we're going to take a look at Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Compare him to... I think Jerry Stackhouse might be the best because everybody else is a fucking shooter so i don't know you know let's compare it to ray allen just because um that's the most popular amethyst right now most popular amethyst shooting art so michael jeffrey jordan 95 sending layup 95 driving layup 90 post fade 68 post control so he'll get his post game down his post fade was absolutely legendary but you gotta remember this is still early michael jordan the one that can't really shoot all too well um, 96 draw foul. So if you if you basically just breeze in the direction of Jordan, you're drawing that fucking foul. So uh, be careful with that. Um, of course, if you're using them, just throw yourself at the defender. You should be fine. <laughs> uh, 90 shot close. 84 contested mid. 85 open mid. 84 off dribble mid. Uh, 70 open shot three. 60 contested. Uh, 60 off dribble. Thing about Michael Jordan is the ball goes in a lot more with him than other characters. Him and Kobe, they get that little superstar treatment from 2K. Don't think that we don't know this 2K. Uh, 86 free throw, 88 ball control, so he can speed boost naturally. Um, nothing too significant over here. We go to his defense. Uh, 90 lateral quickness, 95 shot contest, 92 steal, 95 defensive consistency, 92 on ball, 95 pick and roll excuse me 94 pick and roll uh 84 help defense iq uh 98 driving dunk 65 contact dunk 95 speed 90 speed with ball 95 acceleration 98 vertical so what are his badges 
Relentless finisher, Hall of Fame, tireless scorer, Hall of Fame, difficult shots, lob city finisher, post riser, acrobat, tear dropper, mid range dead eye, one man fast break, pick pocket, defensive stopper, charge card, pick dodger, pick and roll maestro, and lob city passer. What do I think about this card? This card is basically slasher incarnate for now. For now, remember, this is just the early version of Michael Jordan. And if this card is this good, just wait until we get a fucking pink diamond or just a diamond NJ. Like, this card is, first of all, a god defensively. And then he's an athletic freak of nature, much like Blake Griffin. And that's something I'm noticing among all these all-stars is that they're all athletic, you know, uh, barring Dirk. But, you know, Dirk can shoot, so, you know, I guess that cancels out. So we're going to go ahead and go into the next card, Shaquille. O'Neal, which I did happen to pull, and I think he has a buy now, or at least he had one. I don't know what happened to it, but um, taking a look at Shaq, Shackerton, we're going to go ahead and compare him to, let's compare it to Yao Ming. That's basically his competition because a lot of people have this Yao Ming. So, 98 standing layup, but let's be honest, you ain't doing no fucking layup with Shaq, okay? But uh, 58 driving layup. A uh, post fadeaway of a of a 50, goddamn. But a post hook of a 90, which is really good. Post control of a 94, so that's more or less where you want it. Uh, 97 draw foul, which you know Shaq and free throws. 90 shot close, free throw of 53, which isn't all that bad to be honest. I can I can deal with the 53. Ball control is 78, uh, which is weird because if you give him the right shoe, this nigga can actually speed boost. That's fucking scary. That is scary. A speed boost and shit. <laughs> um, his passing vision is actually really, really damn good for a center. I'm not going to lie. His, his playmaker is really good for a center. But is, this is Shaq. So, uh, 98 box out. Rebounding isn't, you know, all too, de uh, all too good. But he's 7-1 with a really tremendous box out. So, much like Yao Ming, he'll get those boards. Lateral quickness of 52. Pass perception of 92. Uh, block a 90, shot contest a 98, so he's always going to contest the ball extremely well. Defense a consistency a 97, on ball defense a 92, pick and roll defense a 90, help defense a 96, low post defense a 95, standing dunk a 95, driving dunk a 75, contact dunk at 85, uh, speed of 50, 52 speed with ball, vertical uh, 85. I mean, this card's just tremendous. And then what's his strength? An 85. So, um,. Really good center, really really good center. Let's go take a let's go take a look at his badges. Brick Wall Hall of Fame, Bruiser Hall of Fame, Josh Stepper Hall of Fame, Relentless Finisher, Post Spin, Pick and Roller, Dreamlike, Flashy Passer, Lob City Finisher, Post Riser, Defensive Stopper, Rim Protector, Dimer, Lob City Passer, One Man Fast Break. This is definitely All Star Shack right here. Very very uh, comedic badges right here. Um, I like to see this card though. I really, I really do want to keep this card, but I had a feeling that he might sell more if I sold him like the moment I pulled him. So that's why I did. Um, and also, if you don't have the Diamond Shag because the historic collection is just a shit ton of money, this is a perfect alternative with more badges. Um, so just take that how you will. All right, next up. We have this beautiful looking Tom Chambers, and this is an extremely underrated card. He can really like dunk on people extremely well. So, looking at this Tom Chambers, we'll go ahead and compare him to Amar Stoudemire because they have the uh, most similar play style. Um, 97 standing layup, 85 driving layup, 89 post fade, 90 post hook, 84 post control. 93 draw foul, shot close of a 90, open shot mid range 84, open shot 3 of 77. So you can't space out the floor uh, if you're playing the 4 out 1 in, and you can run all types of pick and rolls and pick and pops. So just make sure you shoot when he's booty butt naked wide open. Free throw in 86, which is good. Um, ball control a 72. Offensive rebound an 81. Defensive rebound an 82. Box out an 80. So, you know, it's, it's, it's decent. His defense is eh, it's not shit but it's not good it's just in that average range like he'll play good defense uh well decent defense but then you get here standing dunk a 95 driving dunk a 90 contact dunk a 55 speed a 77 now i have a problem and then uh, his vertical at 85 i have a problem with the contact dunk because he has hall of fame posterizer 
he has Hall of Fame post runs. I thought, you know, they give him more contact dunk, but you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be picky about a Hall of Fame bash. But he has post riser, deep range dead eye, pick and popper, tile scorer, catch and shoot, live city finisher, corner specialist, pick and roller, hustle rebounder, and um yeah, this card is just an offense of juggernaut, especially if you love running, you know, pick and rolls or pick and pops. You know, you get someone like Isaiah Thomas, someone with Hall of Fame pick and roll, it's basically a done deal. So very, very good card right here. Next, we have ourselves this Amethyst George Mikan, which he should be going pretty cheap because a lot of people have the diamond one, but still, you know, a, a card's a card for the card collection. So 90 overall offense, 90 overall defense. I think it's best that we compare him to Robert Parrish. Uh, very old school guys right here. I'm, I'm kidding. Robert Parrish isn't that old school. He's only fucking 33. That was a joke, by the way. But um, standing layup at 95, driving layup at 76, post fade away at 85, post hook at 90, post control at 92, which is what I like to see from my centers. Very high post control. Draw foul at 89, shot close at 89. Um, his open shot mid range is an eight, or excuse me, is a seventy five, and then his open shot three is a seventy five. So that's really, really good, especially if people want to just sag off or play off ball. You hit them with that quick pick and pop or that five out, they they won't be playing off ball. They won't be playing off ball. But um, eighty free throw, which is really good. Box out a ninety, offensive rebound an eighty eight, defensive rebound an eighty seven, pass perception uh ninety. So that's really good. He can actually get into the lane. Uh, a block of a ninety four. Defense is really really good all around. So this is a very underrated card um, I'm glad that is going this cheap as well. This is a very good card for a budget team His price is gonna drop even lower than the 47,000. He's going for right now, which is really really good um, So a lot of people are sleeping on the card. So just be on the lookout for that and last But certainly not least at least for me we have Nate the great Robinson 59 I know his size is small, but his heart is very large now, I think the best person to compare him to on this list would be Terrell Brandon. Because um, this Terrell Brandon is, is an absolute monster. I don't understand how this is, card is not a diamond and how Spencer Haywood is not a pink diamond. But we move on. 88 standing layup. 86 driving layup. Um, draw foul of a 75, which is it's okay. It's okay. Uh, hopefully, you're not taking too many layups with Nate Robinson because you just want to jam it on somebody. But 90 shot close. 89 contested mid, 86 open mid, 88 off dribble mid, 88 contested three, 89 open shot three, 88 off dribble three. So really, really good stats for Nate Robinson. I do like his release. He's actually a very good shooter. Um, his ball controls at 88, so he can speed boost naturally. Uh, his passing is pretty decent. Um, defense is it's all right, but then. <laughs> but then you see this you're like well, how is this card in the amethyst you see a 98 driving dunk on nate robinson g fucking g 98 driving dunk 90 contact dunk 97 speed 97 speed with the ball what the fuck is this card this card is 59 looking like a fucking vince carter out here in his prime 98 vertical this card is cheese incarnate bro quarter specialist mid-range jedi deep range jedi limitless range difficult shots catch and shoot one man fast break acrobat tear dropper ankle breaker flashy passer pick and roll maestro lost eight passer pulse riser and dimer what the actual fuck i'm not even mad about this card bro i'm actually gonna have to pick up this card just so i can cheese in blacktop because if you have a 98 fucking driving dunk with the 90 contact dunk and you're five nine bro g fucking g <laughs> this car this car looks absolutely phenomenal so let me know what you guys think about this car thank you guys for watching this video like comment subscribe if you like this video just like you didn't and i'll see you guys later peace out